Prisons and jails in the U.S. are nothing but inhumane torture chambers. They are institutions of slavery that barbarically rip families apart and destroy communities. This goes especially for oppressed nations and even more so for new African people. They are a cruel reminder that we struggle not only against capitalism, but multiple modes of production. Feudalism through landlords, slavery through the prison system. Because people in prisons are under such tight control of the state whenever there's an uprising, repression is swift and brutal. This makes it all the more important for us to support these uprisings when they occur. On the 6th of February, around 100 inmates in City Justice Center in St. Louis took over two units of the jail. It started with a clash between an officer and an inmate, which soon erupted in a large-scale rebellion as many people were able to jimmy the locks in their cells. The two units that were taken over were both on the fourth floor. People smashed windows and threw out whatever they could from plastic stools to ramen noodles. They burned cloth and a straw broom, alerting the people of St. Louis to their conditions. They held the units for six hours, after which police used tear gas and beat people back to the cells. This is not the first time people in CJC took a stand against their brutal conditions. On December 29th, around 50 inmates stood outside their cells as a form of silent, peaceful protest. They were hungry, there was no proper ventilation, they were cold as they hadn't been given winter clothing, and most notably, there were no proper COVID precautions taken. They were rewarded for their peaceful protests with tear gas and hosed with strong water. Many were purposefully thrown in pods with other inmates that were known to have COVID. A lot of their personal belongings were also destroyed because, it was said, they were too contaminated with tear gas. Swift, brutal repression. We have to uplift their bravery. Even after the retaliation of the December peaceful protest, they've risen up again. Here are their demands. Proper PPE supplies, testing, and treatment of inmates with COVID. There are 800 inmates in CJC and more than 60% visibly have COVID and are being housed with people that do not. Pay phones, vending machines, tablets, etc. are not sanitized after each use. And tables, common areas are not sanitized after each wreck. Fair and timely trials. There's at least one inmate who's been locked up at CJC for five years without a trial. They're also denied access to information about their cases. Proper nutrition and portion sizes. The food is of horrible quality and the portions are too small. A poor diet, of course, weakens the immune system, which makes everyone even more susceptible to COVID. They get the same chunk of bread-like cake for every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The vegetables, if they're given them, consist of canned corn or green beans. Proper heating during the cold. COs refuse to turn the heat up. Inmates aren't given proper clothing to deal with the cold. Recreation breaks. Inmates are supposed to get six recreation hours. Inmates at CJC get less than three. Ability to see loved ones. Inmates get no visitation during COVID. Even though in the visitation area, inmates are separated from visitors by glass partition and wall. These conditions, of course, aren't unique to St. Louis. We can do more than just uplift demands. Find out what organization near you does prison work and how you can help out. And if you don't have time, donating always helps as well. Solidarity with inmates at CJC. Space Baby out.